Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, hey. Anyway, you got your wipers. I already showed you that. I showed you the horn, the deck lights, nav lights, shrimp. So you want to turn this key on. You can start it from up here. See when this light's on. These got to be in neutral because if one's up, you go back there and try to switch on the selector. You can't do it. Wipers work. Stereo will turn on. Here is your shore power when you're hooked up to turn on your fridge, your uh, 110 outlets, uh, your hot water heater. And up in here's all your fuse panels for your uh, wash down pumps, bathroom, refrigerator, shower. That's all back there. There's your macerator pump out. And then while we're here, I'm going to go ahead Hit selection that turns blue if it's blinking that means that one's probably in gear start the motor start the starboard motor look back good good let's make sure water flows coming out it'll take a second or two there it goes there it goes okay then we want the wash down we're gonna hit that normally I don't do this turn that on and 10 to 1 I turned the seacock valve on so I know it works well it's building it's going to take a second or two there And of course you can adjust this. Turn that baby off, turn that off. Close this baby up. Turn the switch off. Okay, now I always crank the wheel just a little bit over to here. So we know that works. He had none of the gauges he's gonna do that himself <clears throat> refrigerator's on but i'm gonna turn it on here make sure you always turn that off because if you shut it off the battery you're gonna suck her down in a week if that you want to put water into the bowl you just put that over there take this here Pump. there you go discharge and that's your valves to macerate it or just pump it directly over. And then up underneath this car carpet is a seacock valve for the water that goes into here. <clears throat> Real nice boat. Height doors. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a gamble. I'm doing this by myself. So if I drop the camera or something, you know why. Unhook this. Take this line, throw it in here real quick. Throw that line in there quick. <sighs> Bring this one, turn this a little bit there. Put that in reverse. Put that in reverse. Then you want to push this one ahead. That's going to straighten the boat out. Bring it back. See, I'm not steering the motors. So if I want to go to the left, I push this one. I just hit that, give it a little bit more throttle. If I want to turn to the left, then I keep this one back. Hit this one ahead. Spin her around. And then you can steer the wheel straight again. Put that back. Bring the bumper in. Neutral, neutral. I'll 
leave that bumper out for right now. I can get it through the window if I wanted to. So I can sit there and drive this. If I want one stick, I just push this one here. And I can run it with one motor. I mean both motors, but with one control. Okay, if I wanted to trim assist, which I don't think I can do that. But here's what I can do. I can put this in gear and say I want to control there. Now watch this. This is gonna shut them gear cases off and on. I didn't see how they shut down. And they're gonna kick back on. That's probably what they call cruise control. And then if you hit the see how they just kicked on, then you can tap them up and it's uh, they go up to 90 100 percent and they go down to zero so they kick it off and on. There it goes. Now if you keep going, then it's going uh, the RPM. So your gear case won't go in and out. You're just going to sit there and stay at like 700 to 1,000 RPMs. That's good. Now I'm going to try something here. Trim assist. I've got a single lever. I'm going to hit this button. See, it won't allow me to do it because the gauges ain't hooked up. So anyway, these got to be a neutral. We try everything back here. We're going to get in here. Uh, same token, I can shut the motors off. Okay, I want to fire them up. I got to hit the selector switch. See how that's blue? Now I can go ahead and start them up. Boom. Now I can go to a single lever. There you go. So now we're going to see what this thing will do. Nice boat. Okay, single lever. 1001, 1002, 1002. Wow, what a big difference going to them twin inline 200s. Huh. Okay, right there. And live with the lane if you can. If it's too much, use your trim tab. Right there is planing speed, about 2300. Right there. That's, that's probably 23 miles an hour, probably 3,500 RPMs. Now again, if I wanted to straighten the boat out, yes, I could use a trim tab, see how it's straightening it out. But if you don't need them, don't use them. Now I'm gonna hit it. Now cruising speed would be, I'm gonna start trimming the motor. Always trim this before you use those trim tabs because you're both going to level out sometimes, see? So I didn't need those trim tabs. I just used my main trim. So right about, there would be a good cruising speed, about 4,200. Now I'm going to start trimming. Nice right boat. Yeah, these 200s are the way to go. I think on this boat I would go ahead and get them zipways automatic 
Because if you got that auto trim and them zip weight, you can put it on auto and if this boat leans, it'll all it'll correct it. And then they're going down, so you probably won't get that spray coming up in that corner over there. Oh, they're nice and quiet in here. Wow. So that works good. Bring her back. Okay, what else could I show you on here? Huh. What about it? Oh, stereo? Then, of course, you want to turn this right ahead, back, until it stops. Oh, it's on single lever, so you got to remember that. You got to kick that off, kick it. You just push your head on the port motor, back on the starboard to go right. So now if I'm in a tight position, I just go back here, just to where it's starting to go, and then I hit this front one. And I can steer with these too, and I can steer with the trim tabs. See, I can get where I'm going, just leave this here, keep this one here. See how I'm steering it? I don't even need to use the wheel. 